Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. So let's continue our endodontic topics. So last session uh, we covered various intracanal irrigants and medicaments. Today's topic is root canal sealants. So it is the last step of root canal treatment. So with the gutta pacha immersed in the sealant we seal the root canals and finally complete the procedure. So sealants are the binding agents used to fill up the gap between the root canal walls and the obturating materials. So these sealants fill up the irregularities, discrepancies and lateral canals and also the accessory canals. So what are the functions of root canal sealers? So they serves as a filler for canal irregularities and minor discrepancies between the root canal wall and core filling material and it is to obturate the lateral canals. So there will be a main canal and lateral and accessory canals. It acts as a lubricant because with the help of sealer the gutta pacha or the obturating material can easily move through the canals and it enhances the possible attainment of an impervious seal because a perfect seal is the ultimate goal of a root canal treatment. If we have a perfect impervious seal then there will not be any complications or any flare up or any uh, type of failure because if there is any type of leakage so there are chances of uh, infection which can spread from periapical area towards the uh, canals so if we have an impervious seal all those possibilities can be removed and these sealers can assist in microbial control because most of the sealers will be of an antimicrobial uh, quality and it provides radio opacity so if we have a radio opacity it is very easy to understand the fulfillment of this root canal therapy or how much the obturation has been done so radio opacity uh, it helps us through the iopas or uh, radiographs to understand the result of the root canal therapy or obturation what are the ideal requirements of a sealant so any sealant should provide an excellent seal when set. It should produce adequate adhesion between itself and the canal walls and the filling material. It should be radio opaque, it should be non-staining and it should be dimensionally stable. And it should be easily mixed and introduced into the canals. It should be easily removed. Sometimes there will be re -RCT. Uh, sometimes the previous RCT might be under obturated or any problems we need to do re RCT. In those cases, we should be easily we should be able to easily remove this katapacha. So if the sealant is of a proper consistency, we can easily remove it. And it should be insoluble in tissue fluids, it should be bactericidal or discourage bacterial growth. It should be non-irritating to the periradicular tissues and it should be slow setting to ensure sufficient work. So this is a classification of uh, root canal sealant. Uh, basically there are four categories. One is a zinc oxide, eugenol based sealer, calcium hydroxide based sealer, glazinomer based sealer and resin based sealer. So it's very commonly asked. Sometimes short essay will be resin based sealer or zinc oxide eugenol based sealer or an individual sealer can be asked as a short note. So under zinc oxide eugenol sealer, we have Grossman's formula, wax sealer and tubely seal. In calcium hydroxide, we have seal apex and apexit. Then we have glazinomer sealer. Then the resin bonded sealer has H+, H26, epiphany and diacate. We'll start with the zinc oxide eugenol sealers. So zinc oxide eugenol cements or sealer modified for endodontic use. So the mixing vehicle is mostly eugenol or in a combination with other liquids like candapalsin. So setting time adjusted for adequate working time 
be radio opacity of 4 to 5 mm of aluminium. So the first twin Grossman sealer is a modified Grossman formula in 1974. It is the most educated and non-staining one and which provides good seal. This is a composition that has got two parts, powder and liquid. Powder consists of zinc oxide, uh, stabilite resin, bismuth, subcarbonate, barium sulfate and sodium borate which is anhydrous one. So this is a proportion 40, 30, 15, 15 and 1 and the liquid is eugenol. So the setting time it hardens approximately by 2 hours, 35, 7 degrees Celsius at 100% humidity and sets even quickly that is within 10 to 30 minutes in the root canal due to the moisture present in the dentin. So the properties it's plasticity and slow setting time and it has got good sealing potential and small volumetric change the change after the setting is very minimal a vehicle extrusion gets absorbed to the tissues so it will not create any periapical problems disadvantage the resin is of coarse particle size so the manipulation sterile glass lab spatula two or three drops of liquid that is usual and small increments of cement powder mixed into a small creamy consistency then to test the proper consistency drop test and string out test uh, that is a test we can do uh, to check the consistency that is a string out test just uh, keep the spatula on the cement and just lift it you can see the changes the pulp chamber and the canal should be thoroughly dried before inserting the cement. And the sealant is carried into the canal using a lentlow spiral or master con without forcing any cement into the periradicular space. Because of this, eugenol can create periapical reactions. The second one is wax sealer, which has again got powder and liquid. Powder is zinc oxide, tricalcium phosphate, bismuth, subnitrate, bismuth sub iodide and heavy magnesium oxide this is given in grams 10 to 3.5 0.3 and 0.5 grams whereas the liquid is canola balsam and oil of cloves 20 ml and 6 ml respectively so this is indicated uh, in all the lateral condensation methods when chance of overfilling is present it is contraindicated when heavy lubrication is needed so the properties are it has got medium working time medium lubricating quality minimal periapical irritation it is kind of sticky and it should be mixed to smooth creamy consistency and should string out at least one inch when spatula is raised that is how we test the consistency it should be of one inch minimum length when the spatula is raised after touching the cement so increasing thickness of uh, sealer lessens lubricating effect so indicator when there is possibility of over extension and available as powder and liquid in separate bottles the advantage is germicidal less periapical irritation stays in position because here there is no eugenol so it has got less periapical irritation but the disadvantages are order of the liquid now we have the tubely seal. Tubely seal is also a zinc oxide eugenol based sealer. So tubely seal is a two paste system. It is not powder or liquid. It is a two paste system. One has uh, one is base and the another one is a catalyst. So base consists of zinc oxide, oily resin, smithnut trioxide, thymol iodide, oil and waxes in these percentage and catalyst that is eugenol, resin and anidalin. Setting time is 20 minutes in glass lab and 5 minutes in root canal. Root canal it will be faster because of the moisture content. So the advantages are it is very easy to mix, extremely lubricated, does not stain and expands after setting. But the problems is again irritant to periapical tissue because of this eugenol content very low viscosity extrusion through apical foramen chances are that working time less than 30 minutes and even shorter in presence of moisture it is indicated when apical surgery to be performed immediately after filling because of great lubricating property good choice and when it becomes difficult for a master con to reach the last mm of preparation 
So what are the advantages and disadvantages of commonly the zinc oxide uh, using all sealers? Advantages is its easiness of uh, manipulation, easiness and adhesion to dentinal walls. Only slight dimensional change happens. It is very radio opaque, germicidal and minimal staining with ample working time. But the problems all are cytotoxic and inflammatory response and it is not very easily absorbed from apical tissues. Now we have the calcium hydroxide sealers. In calcium hydroxide, we have seal apex and apexit. So seal apex uh, is a non-usual calcium hydroxide polymeric resin and the 100% humidity takes three weeks to reach the final set and never sets in dry atmosphere. So sealer expands while setting and it is available just like the previous one that is a base catalyst system and healing was more advanced in this compared to H26 and Tubli seal. H26 is a resin based one uh, whereas the Tubli seal was uh, zinc oxide eugenol based. And the seal apex base and catalyst has these components zinc oxide, calcium hydroxide, butyl, benzene, sulfonamide, zinc, stearate. Whereas the catalyst consists of the base basic resin, isobutyl, salicylate, barium sulfate, titanium dioxide, and aerosol. Now we have the apexit plus, that is the second calcium hydroxide sealer available in syringes. We don't need to mix it, base catalyst mixing, it is very easy to apply. So, base consists of calcium hydroxide or calcium oxide almost 37 percentage then hydrated colophonium 54 percentage filler and other auxiliary materials around 9 percentage then the catalyst disalicylate bismuth hydroxide or carbonate fillers and other auxiliary materials it is in a syringe form so excellent biological tolerance very easy to mix radio opaque and hard setting now we have the glass anomalous sealer it is less tissue irritation and very low toxicity and because of its adhesive quality that is a dentin bonding ability because it is very chemically bonding it is recommended as sealer it is not popular because of the difficulty to remove from root canal during retreatment because it is going to have a chemical bonding with the uh, tissues so if we are planning for a retreatment of there is any chance of Retreatment it is very difficult to remove the butta pocha after the chemical bonding, so that is why it is very uh, less recommended. So, advantages are it has got the best physical qualities, best bonding to dentine, fewer voids, best flow, strengthen the roots. But the main problem since it's a chemical bonding, it cannot be removed from the root canal. Next we have the resin based root canal sealers. So we completed three categories. The first one was zinc oxide, then the calcium hydroxide and glass eye number. Now we are into the resin based. So we have H plus H26 epiphany and diacket. So the first one is diacket that is a resin based one. So polyvinyl resin and reinforced chelate formed between zinc oxide and diketone. So, this is a resin formation. There is a chelation happens between zinc oxide and diketone. That is why this name diket. Fine white powder and viscous honey colored liquid. Two drops of liquid mixed with one scoop of powder. This is like powder and liquid mixing and it hardens sharp rapidly after six to eight minutes on glass lamp and even more rapidly in root canal and known for its resistance to absorption superior to other sealers in tensile strength because of this resin and resistant to permeability and it has got very mild inflammatory reactions when if it is overfilled now we have the h26 so it is a epoxy resin sealer characterized by a reactive epoxide ring polymerized by the breaking of this ring good adhesive property good flow it is antibacterial it contracts slightly when hardening low toxicity addition of hardener makes uh, cured resin chemically and biologically inert 
and it is consist of yellow powder and viscous resin liquid uh, and we need to mix it thick creamy consistency it has got setting time 36 to 48 hours body temperature and 5 to 7 days at room temperature and long setting time and material fluidity it has got 5 to 7 days of setting time no cracking or separation from the dentinal walls and it releases formaldehyde during setting that is an adverse effect now we have AH plus so it is again epoxy resin based sealer two components that is paste easy to mix there is no powder liquid this is like base catalyst so we have two paste we need to mix it and we can adapt closely to the root canal minimal shrinkage on setting long term dimensional stability is there so paste A and paste B equal volume will be mixed setting time is 8 hours at 37 degree spatulas mixing slab and instruments immediately cleaned with alcohol or acetone so the advantage is excellent biocompatibility easy handling and application outstanding physical properties excellent radio opacity and suitable for all obturation technique and it does not release formaldehyde during setting and hence more safer than age 26 where the problem was the formaldehyde release the adverse reaction is reverse acute inflammation of the oral mucosa seen when it is exposed to the unset paste so that was all about uh, the root canal sealants so this is a very commonly asked question for the university paper so commonly asked where the resin based uh, resin based root canal sealant or the calcium hydroxide based housing oxide so each one has what its own advantages and disadvantages so hope you understood this one i'll come up with a new topic in uh, endodontics thank you